Am I right, sir? Out of six lakh, three lakhs are engineers. Equal numbers of other doctors, dentists, uh, lawyers, CAs. So all are professionally qualified. It's only 30-40 percent people who have done a normal graduation. And among those normal graduation, you are not the top one. Current young boys and girls, it's also good. Many of them decide very differently. I met a student who qualified civil service and didn't join because for him, to social work was more important. So today children are very different. Not the type they are in your time. The opportunities are also many. You look at number of people who are starting their own companies. So while civil service is important, but this is not the last destination. If this is clear to you, that each one of you had something within you, and if you really work hard on it. You can be successful in any of the venture if this confidence you have. If you understand the differences, you must set your goal. And I doubt any of you have had any consideration of this kind. When you decided to come to civil service, did you have any thinking of this nature? I don't want to disable you. They don't come. I don't want to close their shop. But I want to bring those who are serious to them, so that joining hand together, you do some good job. Otherwise, there is no point. If out of there you are today about six hundred boys and girls, if even ten percent can't be selected, then this is not a good relationship. Is that correct? It they own they owe to you as much as much you owe to them. So those who can work hard, those who are ready, ready to read more, because now you are reading very different things. So aptitude to read, aptitude to read from the best places, not from multimedia. Don't ever plan for civil service to read through media. So a good book, textbook, possibly. So if That is the situation. Evaluate yourself. Take your time. There is no hurry. That this year you start preparing. Appear in the prelim. Who says? Why do you want to waste your time? You don't realize that make a first attempt, don't succeed. Make second attempt, not succeed. The pressure builds on you. Is that right? Each failure will bring so much of pressure on you. That time, neither the parents nor those who are your friends, they would say, "We knew he can't do what he is doing." Parents will say, "What is happening? Two years we have supported you. If you happen to be a girl, they are worried. What you married? If you happen to be a boy, they think abhi kuch nahi karta hai." So these pressures, these uh, your motivation to begin with, become your demotivation once you are not successful. In two times of it, and then you think of pressure. So, what is then the remedy? Remedy is come at three years if you decided to come. If you can manage in five hours study, very good. If you cannot do it seven hours, if it is can't do further, do more. It depends on your individual capacity. Like, for example, this gentleman possibly can read quickly and assimilate. Somebody would require three readings. So there is no thumb rule which would say you follow this. So first month, you have to evolve your own methods. Method has to be individual. Many of you probably don't remember. No. That people who go at young age for JE preparation in quota, JE is a center, and some people do commit suicide. You know who they are? It's not that they are not good student. 
it is the peer pressure he talks to say for example two girls talk to each other she says she is studying 9 hours she finds she could be studying only for hours pressure builds 